climate Tinubu cracks down on northern leaders perceived to be threats to his presidency. In a bid to cement his political hegemony, President Bola Metinubu has reportedly launched a vicious manhunt for northern leaders perceived to be enemies to his presidency. The latest to fall through his political dagger power vibes gathered is Senator Abdullahi Adamu, the immediate past national chairman of the EPC. Sources said that President Bola Tinubu has been having a running battle with Adamu before he was eventually booted out of office unceremoniously by the powers that be. The former governor of Nasarawa state and some chieftains of the party from the north were accused of working against Bola Ahmed Tinubu during the last election. But what does it matter now that he's gotten the position? I don't... He's gotten the position that he wants. I mean, there's no doubt that he may have enemies. No one is perfect. Um, not everyone would like him. Not even just on a level of just citizens, you know, knowing who they're voting for. But even in those he works with, you know, you can't expect that everybody would like him just because of his power and because of his positioning. Yes, he can be used. He can have sycophants around him. But again, it is not a guarantee that there are people that like him or would not put their interests first. So this crack down on northern leaders that are perceived to be a threat to his presidency is just absolutely is absolutely unnecessary it's like so what should nigerians do about it right i think that to a very large extent these are just distractions um these are just distractions from issues that need to be talked about for example like what is happening in the petitions court with you know um, Peter B and the rest of the political candidates and also Ibefile's charge and also the economy and the future of the fuel subsidy issue because it is many stories like this around the same conversation. What is the conversation? Tinubu is going to crack down on northern leaders that are perceived to be a threat to his presidency. But then what it means is we're going backwards into what pre-elections and what the campaigns were like and what went on. So it's like you can see that this is a clear distraction because he's already gotten the position he's wanted. If anything, if he's going to then, as um, the Constitution expects, he will choose his cabinet members then he would obviously favor those that are in support of him. So it's not that big of a deal, but a play and taking advantage of the political, what do you call it, intensity, um, given that Tinubu let's be very clear, has a lot of opposition, right? A lot of opposition, a lot of people that don't like him. In the same manner, he has those that are in support of him, but that is just being played because, again, going to the comment section, what do we see? What goes around comes around. Adam himself is not a saint, right? You know, the desperate black miller that calls himself is back again so it's like what it does is you see individuals going back and forth and are so focused and zoomed in to one single sub story of the bigger element of current affairs that we need to be discussing and then that's it so i particularly find it very dangerous why because Nigerians themselves will most likely engage in conversations like this because, what is it? It's drama. It's drama, it's gossip, 
and if anything this does not give nigerians a way to be informed okay with the financial situation going on fuel subsidy high rising inflation forex um the foreign exchange market nigeria's currency there's so many issues right and that's not being talked about for you listeners the point is to be very observant and look at the the big events situations that happen over time and look at how nigerians can be easily distracted it's not their fault they will be programmed to be because the people that are control information and actually know what's going on in the country you know when you hold information you do hold a lot of power um so yes in this case you know my point is tinubu has gotten his position so there's no need for him to crack down on northern leaders especially when in terms of his core group and power play he can decide who he works with first of all and secondly at the end of the day this is going backwards into a discussion that is pretty much irrelevant and we can discuss something else but what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe <music>